I wanted to spend a couple of minutes and talk about some reporting tools that uh, are available to you that you might not know about. Uh, the first one here is called Storefront Remote, and this works on 3PAR and the Store Once devices. Uh, you can create an account here, and then once you create the account, you'll go in and plug in your serial number, and it'll pull up a dashboard type view that's very similar to uh, the SSMC, if you're familiar with that, uh, or one view if you're more familiar with that. So you get that kind of a dashboard uh, display. Um, and you can go in and generate some reports off of that. Now, one of my favorites is the Store Vista R3T report, and it gives you, a, I, I feel, a deeper analysis of the performance and capacity consumption of the array. Um, and for this one, you just put in your uh, store source serial number, your email address. It does have to be an authorized email address. I'll, I'll talk about that here in a second. And then you've got different report types. So. You know, one of these nice, uh, the couple of nice ones here, the store sort of capacity and configuration report, and of course a health check and performance report. So that one's, that one's really cool. But here's also the great thing. You can request a frequency of this report. So you can say that every week send me um, the report, you know, from today. So uh, today is Friday. So maybe I want to see a weekly report every Friday to give me a summary of what the performance analysis has been on my array for the last week. Right? Or maybe I want to have this report generated on a Monday, so when I come into the office every Monday, here's this report. So it'll go through, it'll calculate all the phone home data, the back-end stats data, put it into a nice formatted um, Word document file, and just shoot that to me in my email box. Uh, and then how you go about putting um, your recipient's email address here, and I think you go to the download section here. Yeah, so here's um, instructions for adding authorized recipients. So you'll just pull up this and it's a PDF file and it'll talk about the reports that are being generated. And there's a section here about authorized recipients and then the steps that you have to go through to uh, authorize your email address to your frame uh, as a security measure, obviously. Uh, here's a quick snapshot of what the reports would look like. Um, so take a couple minutes and definitely check that out. I think you're really gonna like the reports that uh, it generates. And then uh, back to storefront remote. So if we log in the storefront remote here, okay. So when you log in the storefront remote, it'll pull a bunch of systems up. Um, obviously, I have to uh, hide a lot of this. Um, but then you could just type in the serial number of your array. Um, let me see if one of mine's, well, I, I can't tell. So you can pull up the serial number of your array here. I've got options. I can look at physical disks. I can look at um, you know, front end performance, configuration history, case history. But I can also generate, you know, where I could select one of these frames and I can generate reports um, someplace. Uh, actions here we go and then create PDF um, so then when I create a PDF it goes through this little menu item here and you can select what kind of stuff you want in the PDF and then when you click OK it's going to generate the file and then give it to you in a downloadable um, uh, file that's that's attached to it to it so and it's it's pretty nice um, for you know more of a, a high level uh, snapshot of your environment, if you will. Uh, but definitely check out both of them. I'll put the links in the description page so you can uh, quickly go to it. Um, now there's obviously this is all historical data that we're collecting here, not running um, specific reports on your array. So uh, in order to do that, you would want to run System Reporter through the SSMC. And if I get a chance um, later on, I'll try to run through some of those. But in the meantime, definitely check out these reports. Uh, I think that this is a, a great way to start shaping uh, a view of your current 3PAR environment. Thanks a lot.